Uh, Who are some of the musicians in, in, in Nigeria uh, at the time? Uh, uh, that time, Fela, Fela, Fela yeah, yeah, because we played with Fela twice. Oh, okay, okay. You know, we played in this club, uh, Surreal Night Club. Okay. And also, we played with Fela at Isuka University. Oh, okay. You know, so, so you guys were friends. You, you oh yeah, Fela. I mean, uh, no, um, Fela is a Botella's friend. Oh, okay, a Botella's yeah, friend. Yeah, because they all attended school in Europe. You know, talking oh, about okay. in England, you okay. know, music school, so they knew mm, of, they of each, each other. other. Yeah. Okay. So when we got there, he knew that. So he asked the Botella uh, so that he comes to play you know, at okay. this club. Mm. So that was the time of me seeing Fela, Fela. sitting down. Okay. And was like, he very big at the time? No, uh, Fela. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That time, Afrobeat, you know, has started, you know, okay. popularizing uh -huh. itself. Yeah. Um, he was coming. But, I mean, he was... Um, he was in the scene mm -hmm. that time because his club was always full up. Oh yeah! You know the people <laughs> come, the soldiers, the police. Everybody you know, comes. Everybody here. comes here. <laughs> you know, and uh, his style of music and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was happening, and uh, Saffron Fella. We also play with um, uh, what we call it uh, um, another club in uh, uh, in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Um, that uh, by Victor Laya. Okay. You know, Victor wow. Laya was another popular mm -hmm. Nigerian okay. yeah, musician. Nigeria. We also played with, in this club, mm. you know, and things like this. So, in getting those chances to play at other um, um, venues and every, all that in the course of traveling and everything, okay. yeah, it, it was really good. It made me uh, to see other musicians that I knew them on records mm. and all of that. So it was a good thing for me, but when we came back from Nigeria, mm -hmm. there, Isibon's records. Okay. You know, because Ebu Isibon, Ebu Taylor was doing his own composition music. Okay. I was doing mine. So Isibon decided that, uh, why don't you form a band okay. that will play only our own compositions? Okay. So that was good for me. Mm -hmm. Because that was time, the time to be able to uh, start experimenting. Okay. You know, uh, all the kind of music that uh, me are been, he is, he gets you mind, all the yeah. kind of, uh -huh. yeah, I started experimenting all of them. Yeah. You know, on him daddy, then yeah. yeah. on Shem Prabhuwa, then I said, you know, you shall see that. Oh, on my. You know, shall see that, you see, you know, they 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 know, yeah. And many a time we we'll go outside to play out because most of the other bands in the world are playing copyright music. Okay. You know, playing James Brown and all that kind. But we when we go, we start to play our own way. But because of the nature of the rhythms and everything that we put behind, mm -hmm. so people started to understand. Yeah. You know the kind of format of music yeah, that we were playing. Okay. And it was. It was fantastic. So was Ebotella part of your group? Yeah, Ebotella, Ebotella, you see, Ebotella has become like uh, my band leader three times. Ah. You know, railway band in Sekondi, mm -hmm. Uhuru band in Accra here. Okay. And uh, the band that we formed, mm -hmm. the name was uh, Apeja Show Band. Apeja Show Band. Yeah, and Ebotella too was the band leader. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> he's become my band leader three times. Okay. But when he left, I took over the band. Okay, so yeah. when he left and you took over the band, that's where you started doing your solo. Yeah, we, we started. Part. Yeah, because in the course, even when he was there, we were doing our own compositions and everything. So when he left, the continuation of it, you know, uh, okay. started, you know, happening. And um, we were staying at uh, Teshinungwe Estates mm. at that time, and there was a club there at Teshinungwe called the Stereo Spot. Okay, Stereo Spot. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the owner of Terror Sport, he knew me. So sometimes, uh, weekends, you mm -hmm. know, he put my music, the same go do, her, party, my heart do, how about the boost and do, what are the party do? But why are you guys mama. making money? Because that's how your song was big everywhere. No, it, it was, you see, I wasn't even thinking about money that time. Oh, okay. You were thinking about the fame. Yeah, because, you know, my name being out there, it was good for me and it allowed people to see me, mm -hmm. you know, and people to know me. But how are you feeding? How are no, you? No, because I was playing, we were playing, and okay. uh, Apadeshu Band were there playing, okay. you know, from 
traveling to, to you places, know, other so regions. Making some yeah, okay. so that one, yeah, you know, the way it was Something coming. Small, small. Okay. You know. So, in that club, the, uh, the Stereo Sport Club, um, one day the man asked me to uh, do a performance, but you know, he has some friends too. Some of them work with the Tamafo Complex. Okay. Right, and things like that. And Tamafo Complex had a band. Okay. You know, called mm -hmm. Complex Sounds. Complex Sounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, this man asked me to do something. You know, I'm talking of the, as the a solo owner. Person. Yeah, as the owner. Okay. And he just put my record on there and then start playing my record. He wants me to sing. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Alongside, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, when I mind and things like that, there was a man there called Mr. Santi. He was an accountant mm -hmm. with a Tamafu complex. Mm. So after my performance, he called me, he said, look, Mr. Ambuli, tomorrow come to full complex. Mm -hmm. And when you come, ask for Mr. Santi. Mm. Mm, like that. So I went the next day. Yeah. And he told me there's a band, Tamafu complex band, and he wants me to join that band. Wow. So <laughs> I looked at where I was, mm -hmm. you know, and this man was Tamil Full Complex, they, they had fresh instruments. Yeah. You know, because, you know, Full Complex is uh, the whole company, yeah. Yeah, governmental. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <laughs> you know, they have full set of instruments. And when I looked at the musicians playing, I said, whoa, mm -hmm. this is another place to that I can experiment. Experiment, yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey. So. So you left your band? Yes, I left. I left uh, a pedestrian band and went and joined Full Complex. When I joined to, then that time I saw we were at uh, Tashin Ningua Estate. Uh -huh. Full Complex was at Tema. Okay. So when I joined the band, it means I have to move to Tema. To Tema, yes. So I moved to Tema, you know, the Tema Estate and things like that. I had my own place. Okay. And all that. And started to experiment with the band. And that was when I made my first LP. As a solo artist? Yeah, as a solo artist. So in playing with the band, mm -hmm. when we go outside to perform, the band plays corporate music. Okay. They play James Brown and things like that, and that. it gets to my turn. Oh, okay. But because that time, my record too was popular. Uh -huh. At that time, so when they say that, ladies and gentlemen, the Did next artist is J.D. Blay Amboulay. About yeah. the booth, really. about the Twitter, <laughs> and people were, you know, astonished. You know, flabbergasted yeah. in the way that uh, when they mentioned my name, they know the style of music that yeah, I play. Exactly, they know the style of dance. Dance, terms, that's Oh, so <laughs> hey. they were ready for me, and I was ready for, for them. them. And it was, you know, making my first LP. So the one that brought me out, some mm -hmm. Now. I recorded Akokoba mm -hmm. uh, we are Brentis, Gay Simano, yeah. Tofi, and all. I mean, it was really, wow. really good for me. Wow. And uh, 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 it, it made my name to become even more known. Yeah. Because the bands were traveling outside and performing. And mm. in performing, I was playing Akokoba and all those kind of things. So people started knowing all this music. Yeah. And when the record also came out, Boom, it was right there. Whoa. <laughs> Mr. Albuli. Yeah, so uh, I was with Complex, you know, after all these recordings and things like that. Um, a certain guy came from England uh, called Opon. Okay. And Opon said, Mr. Albuli, I have bought, I have brought a set of instruments from mm -hmm. England. Wow. And I want you to form a band. Whoa. That means my own personal Your band. personal band. Because the other band belongs to uh, the complex, Tamafu, complex, yeah. Tamafu Complex. But this one is going to be my personal band. Personal band. Yeah. So I said, okay. So he brought the band, uh, he brought the instruments and everything. We wanted to check the instruments. I said, okay. Then uh, it has come to a time for me to uh, get musicians mm. and everything that we can all play together. So yes, I got a set of instruments, I mean, a set of musicians. Okay. And from there, we went straight to Akimodan. Okay. That's where we went to rehearse. It's just like the first band that took me out of second D. Second D, okay. We went to Cape Coast to go rehearse for three for months. Th yes. This one, this one too, we went to Akimodan to go and rehearse. Wow. And the name With of the band? The, yes. Because, and the name of the band is called Zantoda Mark III. <laughs> Zantoda Mark III. Yeah. 
Wow. And Zantoda, the name was a coin name. Mm. You know, uh, those that formed the broad instrument, there were three guys. Okay. One is from Odin. Mm -hmm. The other one, another one is from Antwa. Antwa? You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm from Nizima. Okay. Things like that. So, and, 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 okay. and, and, and or down. Or down. Okay. You know, so when you add a Z, <laughs> Z it yeah. becomes Zan and Zan Toda. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's how, you know, the name came out. Okay, Zan Toda 3. Yeah, Mark 3. Okay, Mark 3. Yeah. Wow. And it was wonderful. And uh, that was my first band that I, um, I took to Europe. Oh, Europe? Yeah, we went to. Uh, no, I mustn't say Europe. Uh, England is different from Europe. Mm, okay, yeah, but yeah. So, <laughs> but that was my first man that I, I took to England. England. Yeah. Wow. And and what happened in England? Well, they, that was around 1969. You know, because uh, I joined Complex around uh, uh, 60. No, I'm sorry. I joined Complex around 75. Okay. You know, and uh, uh, I formed the Zantura. From, 60, uh, from 75, I formed the Zantoda 78. Okay. So that means five to eight, I was with yes. three years with a, a super complex. Mm -hmm. Then 78, I formed Zantoda. Then, okay. then 79, after one year, we, we traveled to London. London. Yeah. Cool. And that was my first time traveling to London with a group, my own band. Yeah. And things like. So, how, how did you get get that gig, the London gig? They they set it up. Okay. Those, they set because it they up. were in mm -hmm. England. They were they were all of the, the those three guys that formed the band. They all lived in England. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they set it up by, you know, they have uh, venues mm -hmm. and things like that. So you were know. playing back to back. Yeah. So we went and started playing back to back, and uh, we played together for I think it was about three months and. Uh, there was a conflict mm -hmm. in between those three guys that bought instruments for me. Mm -hmm. You know, so it stopped the further gigs that we had to play mm -hmm. because there was a conflict among them. Okay. You know, so when it when it happened like that, it means that uh, we weren't able to perform, but oh. we had to find the side jobs. Okay. You know, to, side jobs. So you have to be looking for some yeah. jobs. Yeah. You know, so uh -huh. you know, I, I found a job as a cleaner. Oh yeah, cleaning the uh, uh, the hotels, you know, Hyde Park. <laughs> you know, if you go to London, there's a place. Hyde Park is an expensive area. Okay. And they have to Hyde Park the hotels and things like that. So the job that I founded was, you know, cleaner. So we go to clean the, you know, the hotel from 11, right. 11 p.m. Did you blame bully from? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, these are all experiences, man. And I'm glad that I went through all that. Yes, yes. You know, because. Yeah. You know, um, nothing comes easy. Yeah, it's true. You know, many things you need to struggle, you need to work through them. Mm. You know, so I was a cleaner. I would go to work about 11 p.m. 11 p.m. to about 7 in the morning. Wow. You know, doing the cleaning. Cleaning? And, yeah, before the, the the next day, you know, the real workers and everything comes. Come. Mm -hmm. When they come, everything was already clean. clean and things like that. So, yeah, we did, I did that for, I think, about a year and a mm. uh, year and a half, <laughs> you know, so that I can make some money some to, money uh, to <laughs> survive.